The biggest mistake the original teabagger movement made was trusting the Republican Party and Fox News, and here's why. Basically, I'm anti-corruption, and this is sort of how the teabagger movement started out in the beginning, when they were still independent, that is. But I will say one thing tonight. The entire teabagger movement has been taken over by right-wing reactionary forces in this country. And if you can't see that by now, as an independent teabagger, then um, you're lost. This movement has been taken over, little by little, by some of the most right-wing elements in the Republican Party. And to call yourselves independent at this point is essentially a joke. But first, a couple of holy mackerel stories in today's news. The Tea Party protesters are launching a brand new bus tour. For those of you keeping track at home, there are now essentially two competing Tea Party movements. Washington Independent reporter Dave Weigel has been covering the widening rift between the Tea Party Patriots and the Tea Party Express. There's no doubt that the major push particularly through this convention now, you know, at $540 a plate, is no longer a grassroots movement. Since actually some of that grassroots supporters can't afford it. Talk about elitism. All of you teabaggers have essentially been duped into a reactionary movement which is not just anti-government but more it's not even anti-corporate and it's the corporations who are actually controlling the government but there is no outcry from this side at all in fact this movement is now being supported by the very same people which the grassroots in the very beginning were against, namely the likes of Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, Fox News, and all the rest. But, uh, you can hang it from your mirror too like fuzzy dice. And here are the remnants of the, t uh, the teabag tax day uh, protest, protest against the Obama administration tax policies. The Tea Party revolution. There's probably one right by you. We have a map to show you just how widespread these are. Comes from Newt Gingrich's organization. Bam, Fox News is out in front of this. So if you can't see by now that you have been completely co-opted into a large propaganda scheme and you may notice now that the mainstream media is giving much coverage to this little convention all the while proclaiming that the media the mass media is has a liberal or left-wing bias you may want to think twice about it the Tea Party Express Terminator bus tour Tea Partiers are affiliated with a Republican political action committee. And they're considered by the Tea Party patriots to be too partisan, by which they mean too supportive of the Republican Party. Here's the fascinating part. It appears that in the divorce between the patriots and the express, it was the Tea Party Express people, the people on the bus, the people affiliated with the PAC, those were the ones that got Fox News. Back when the Tea Parties were billed as tax day protests before there was an evident rift, Fox News ran promos, not reports, but promotional announcements for these planned protests. Lock. It's a movement that is sweeping the nation all across the country. Partying 1773 style. We're live on Tax Enough Already or Tea Party Day. You are involved in a movement which started out as 
a genuine movement against governmental corruption. But now, you've been co-opted in such a way that you believe that the government itself is the problem. A government for and by the people is not the problem. So we should be solving <coughs> this problem. This problem comes from the very top, namely the corporations which own our government, all virtually all of our representatives. And all, all that is ever being said from the tea baggers or movement is the only complaint they have is about taxes. We're being taxed. <laughs> Most people in this income bracket are actually not being taxed higher. But the rhetoric is so convincing that you tend to believe that anybody earning under $50,000 a year, or as a family, maybe 80000 is being taxed to the max, when this is an absolute lie. I'm reporting today from the Sacramento Tea Party. Organizers say there are 10,000 people here. California Highway Patrol says about half that. They are predominantly white. They are all patriotic. And they were brought here primarily by Fox News and Conservative Talk Radio. We're going to continue live from Sacramento, the epicenter of this rage. Organizers and politicians tried to downplay the influence Fox News and talk radio had on turnout. Is it good to have big media promoting a protest rather than just reporting on one? Well, I, I think what you'll find is a lot of these folks organized over the Internet. That's, you know, that's what I'm hearing. The Internet was not really responsible for the large crowd. That required some bigger microphones. How did you hear about the event? I was watching Fox News, radio, television, Glenn Beck on the radio. Sean Hannity. Uh -huh. Fox News, um, a few uh, radio programs. Yeah, I was listening to all my conservative talk shows and I was getting more and more fired up making my signs. Traditionally, news organizations it. cover protests, but they don't promote them. But according to the research group Media Matters, in the week prior to April 15th, Fox News aired 20 segments and 73 promos for the Tea Parties. <laughs> Talk radio and Fox News not only brought out the crowd, they also effectively forced the rest of the media to cover the protests. On Fox 40 News. Today's tax protest did play out in Sacramento. Thousands of Californians rallying around the Capitol. Think about these issues very, very hard before trying to scapegoat anybody in this country. April 15th, all across the country, Americans are making their voices heard. In California, Texas, Georgia, Washington, D.C., citizens are standing up, saying no to more taxes and demanding real economic solutions. We report, you decide. Uh, then over the summer, the Tea Party Express launched its first bus tour, and Fox News accepted the invitation. Here's a dispatch, a typical dispatch, from Fox's embedded Tea Party Express correspondent, Griff Jenkins. Welcome to Reno, Nevada. This is stop number two on the Tea Party Express. They're taking their message. It's a group called Our Country Deserves Better. They're taking their message from Sacramento, California, where this all started today, all the way to Washington, D.C. And by the way, I haven't found an angry mob. We found a lot of viewers of Fox News that are glad uh, that we're out here covering them. Right on, Griff. That was an example not of covering a protest, but of participating in one and helping to organize it. And when people describe Fox News as a political operation and not a news network, that's what they're talking about. As to the turnout, the organizers say thank you, Fox News, for helping people get out to this event. On the Media Edge, I'm Sue Wilson reporting. The handwriting is on the wall, in case you don't see it. 